Dear brothers and sisters, thank you for joining us once again for another episode of our series, Let Us Revive the Sunnah. In this series, we seek to mention some of the sunnahs of the Prophet wasallam that have been neglected in our times. And we seek to bring these sunnahs to the attention of the people once again so they can implement them in their lives and spread them among others. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala reward you all for having this intention to implement the sunnah of the Messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam in your lives. Today we want to talk about one of the noble characteristics of the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam and that is his courage and his bravery. The Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam was the bravest of men. And this was attested to by the Sahaba radiallahu anhum. In a hadith narrated by Imam Muslim, the great Sahabi Anas ibn Malik radiallahu an talked about the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam and talked about an incident that happened in Medina. Anas radiallahu anhu said, كَانَ رَسُولُ اللَّهِ صَلَّ اللَّهُ عَلَيْهِ وَسَلَّمْ أَحْسَنَ النَّاسِ وَكَانَ أَجْوَدَ النَّاسِ وَكَانَ أَشْجَعَ النَّاسِ وَلَقَدْ فَزِعَ أَهْلُ الْمَدِينَةِ ذَاتَ لَيْلَةٍ فَانْطَلَقَ نَاسٌ قِبَلَ الصَّوْتِ فَتَلَقَّاهُمْ رَسُولُ اللَّهِ صَلَّى اللَّهُ عَلَيْهِ وَسَلَّمَ رَاجِعًا وَقَدْ سَبَقَهُمْ إِلَى الصَّوْتِ وَهُوَ عَلَى فَرَسٍ لِأَبِي طَلْحَةٍ عُرْيٍ فِي عُنُقِهِ السَّيْفِ وَهُوَ يَقُولُ لَمْ تُرَاعُوا لَمْ تُرَاعُوا قَالَ وَجَدْنَاهُ بَحْرًا أَوْ إِنَّهُ لَبَحْرٌ in this beautiful hadith, Anas radiallahu an mentions that the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam was the best of mankind. And he was the most generous of mankind. And he was the most courageous, the bravest of mankind. And then he mentions an incident that happened to illustrate the bravery of the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. One night there was a loud sound that terrified the people of Medina. So the people of Medina got very scared when they heard this sound. So they got up and they started preparing their horses ready to go out to see what that sound was. So they put the saddles on their horses and they were preparing their weapons to go out to see what it was. And when they started to get ready, the Prophet ﷺ was on his way back. So this shows that the Prophet ﷺ heard the sound and he quickly went on a horse and grabbed a weapon and went before the other people even knew exactly what was going on. And by the time they were ready to head out, he was already on his way back and he saw what had happened. And he told them, do not fear, do not fear. And then he said about his horse that it was very fast. So we see here that the Prophet ﷺ's bravery was immense and he was ready to go out without anyone accompanying him and he went without even putting a saddle on the horse he rode the horse without a saddle and that shows how quickly he went and he grabbed the first weapon that he could find and he put it around his neck and he went and this shows that the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wasallam was very quick to react in these type of situations he feared no one but Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. He went alone. Nobody accompanied him. And by the time the other sahaba were ready to go out and see what was going on, he was already, already on his way back. And he told them not to fear and that there was nothing to worry about. So this is a beautiful example that shows that the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa was the bravest of mankind. And it was narrated also that in the battles that the Prophet ﷺ fought in during the times of war, when the battle would become intense and the fighting would become heated, 
the Sahaba would take refuge behind the Prophet ﷺ in the time of the war when the fighting became intense. The Sahaba would take refuge behind the Prophet ﷺ and he was always the closest one to the enemy. And only the bravest of the Sahaba would stand by the side of the Prophet ﷺ. And when the Prophet ﷺ was in a battle, he would be on a mule instead of a horse. And this shows that it was never his intention to flee away from the fighting. He was always ready to be in the middle of the fighting. A mule is a slow animal compared to a horse. And in the fight, in the battles, he would be riding a mule. And this shows that he was ready to be in the heat of the fight. And he was not thinking about escaping the heat of the battle. This shows again his bravery, the bravery of the Prophet ﷺ. He feared no one except Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And other than that, even if we're not talking about war, we're not talking about battles, even if you look at the da'wah of the Prophet ﷺ, you will find his conveyance of the message to the people was full of bravery. At a time where only a few people believed in him, he was ready to give the call of da'wah, the call of Islam to the people. And the Quraysh, they wanted to kill him. They tortured him and his companions and they made them suffer an unspeakable amount. Yet the Prophet ﷺ did not fear them. He did not fear being harmed by them. And he was always ready to answer the call of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and give da'wah to the people. And it went to such an extent that the kuffar of Mecca decided to make a plan to kill him. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala saved him from that and allowed him to safely migrate to Medina. So we see even in his da'wah, even in his conveying of the message of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam feared no man. He feared Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala alone. He feared Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala alone. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala describes those who convey his message. Alladheena yuballighoona risalati Allahi wa yakhshawnahu wala yakhshawna ahadan illa Allah. Those who convey the message of Allah and they fear him and they fear no one except Allah. And the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam was a beautiful example of this in his life. He feared no one but Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And look at the effects of that on the Sahaba. The Sahaba were keen to learn any sunnah from the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. And they saw the bravery of the Messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam and they became brave as well. They used this sunnah of the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam and they applied this sunnah of the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam in their own lives. So you see, after the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, the Sahaba were the bravest of the people and you can see that from many examples of their lives. Look at the example of Ali radiallahu an. When Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala ordered the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam to migrate to Medina and the kuffar of Mecca were ready to kill him and they knew that, they knew that the Sahaba knew that the kuffar were trying to kill the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam yet Ali radiallahu an, he was a young man at that time, he was around 21 years old only, a young man and he slept in the bed of the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam knowing full well that the kuffar of Mecca wanted to kill the person who was in that bed because they thought that he was the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Ali radiallahu anhu was ready to sleep in the bed of the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam when they knew, when he knew that the kuffar were wanting to kill the person in that bed. So look at how the bravery of the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam rubbed off on his companions. And this is the example that we should take. We should learn from this sunnah as well. And we ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to make us among the courageous servants of Allah. And we ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to protect us from being cowards. This is one of the beautiful examples of the Muslims. The Sahaba and those generations that came after them, they were known for their bravery. If you read into the history of Islam, look at the history of the Prophet ﷺ and his companions. And then look at the history of the Khulafa al Rashidin. Look at the history of the time of Abu Bakr when he was the Khalifa and the time of Umar when he was the Khalifa and the time of Uthman and Ali when they were the Khulafa of the Muslimin. 
Look at the examples of bravery, innumerable, uncountable examples of bravery that they showed. And they learned this from the Messenger of Allah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam himself. So this is a beautiful sunnah, to be brave. And we ask Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala to instill this type of bravery in our heart. The Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam encountered so many difficulties in his life. Look at the example of when he went to Ta'if to give da'wah over there. He went alone. And we see what happened to him there. He was stoned by the people, but that didn't deter him from conveying the message of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Nothing deterred him. Nothing turned him away from the message of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Even being hit by stones, being pelted until he was bleeding. This shows that the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam was an example of courageousness and bravery in the face of hardships. And this is the example that we should draw from. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala allow us all to implement this sunnah in our lives. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala give us all bravery and courage in our lives. And may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala keep us away from cowardice. And may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala instill in us the fear of Him alone. So that we don't fear anyone else besides Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala as we are commanded to do. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala allow us to implement this sunnah in our lives. And may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala allow us to spread this sunnah to the rest of the Muslims. Ameen. Wa sallallahu wa sallam wa baraka ala nabiyyina Muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi ajma'in.